Today, let's talk about how to decide what you really want and what's preventing you from having it. What is up my fellow goal getters my name is Zach and welcome back to another video and if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to become a true goal getter make sure you hit subscribe because we're about to get started right now. If you were to go and ask somebody what they wanted uh, there's a good chance that they might sit there and tell you for five or ten minutes everything that they don't want and the funny thing about that is us as humans we get what we focus on so if we're focused on all the things that we don't want we're gonna have that in our lives and I went through this same dilemma just not too long ago I wanted to get back in shape and I'm still in progress of doing that but I'm a lot further along now once I got this concept in my head for the longest I was focusing on everything that I didn't want was focusing on the extra fat that I was carrying on my body that was making me disappointed and ashamed because I knew that I held myself to a higher standard and I wasn't living up to that standard that I held myself to and a lot of the reason why I wasn't making this transition is because I was focusing on what I didn't want the extra fat on my body and when I shifted that focus to what I did want um, the six pack, the, the V waist, the, the tone in my, in, in my muscles and all that. That's when change started to happen, when I actually focused on what I did want, not what I didn't want, but I had to focus on what exactly it is that I did want. Gotta get crystal clear about that. And real quick, before we dive all the way into these tips, if this is your first time and or if you haven't gotten the Goal Getter Cheat Sheet yet, I highly encourage you to do so right now. This process is my step-by-step -step process that'll literally get you anything that you want in life. It's a step-by-step -step process to rise up, break free, and dominate life. This is what I use on a consistent basis. This is what I teach every single student of mine. And you can get it right here. First step in this process, don't focus on what you don't want. Just, just don't do it. Whatever it is that you don't want, don't focus on it. Focus on what you do want. Uh, what I did when I, when I wanted to lose this weight, I, instead of focusing on, on I didn't want to be fat anymore and all that good stuff, I, I took a picture, an older picture that I, that, a, a weight that I liked myself at, that the goal that I wanted to reach again, and I put that as my screensaver on my phone. So every time that I would look at my phone, I would be reminded of what I did want and not what I didn't want. And that made all the difference, you know, because how many times do we look at our phone throughout the day? And I look at mine quite often. Uh, I do all my business through my phone. So th focus on what you do want. Don't focus on what you don't want. Because if you focus on what you don't want, that's what you're going to get because we get what we focus on. The next tip, the next thing that we need to do in this process, we have to clearly decide exactly what it is that we want. Be crystal clear on this. Clarity gives us the power to make those changes rapidly. And finally, we have to, to, have to realize what is it that's stopping us? What's holding us back? And it's going to be, are we linking pain to making that change or are we linking pleasure to staying the same or doing it both ways somewhere in there that we're not linking pain and pleasure appropriately we have to link so much pain to staying the same and so much pleasure to making that change right now that's why procrastination happens the only reason why we procrastinate is because we link too much pain to making that change now of the unknown, the uncertain, and we link too much pleasure to stay in the same uh, of, of the known. And it's funny because staying the same is what we don't want. It's, what, it's what's causing us the pain. But yet the fear of the unknown is kind of daunting to us at some times and we link too much pain to that. So we have to link pain and pleasure appropriately. If you enjoyed this video and you found that helpful and you want to watch more videos that are going to help you make these transformations in your life, matter of fact, be sure to check out this video right there. That's the full step process, everything we did just discussed with everything else on how to really dial in that change and make these changes happen right now and not, and not have to deal with that, oh, I, I, I really want to make this change and, and that pain of just knowing that you need to change but never making progress. I know how that feels, that sucks. 
and to finally get rid of that feeling, to finally release yourself of all that pain and frustration and feelings of guilt because you're not living up to the, to the standards that you hold yourself to, yeah, check out that video. And if you know anybody that could benefit from this message, please share it with them. You never know what the right message for the right person at the right time can do. Thank you all for tuning in. Keep crushing those goals. Rise up, break free, and dominate life. And I will see you next time.